We continue to push deeper and deeper into the Celtic Sea. U-2513 is currently in a deep water pocket where the depth under keel is around 100 meters. I anticipate it's going to get much shallower as our journey continues. Once again, it seems the main threat will be sea mines. Despite this threat, I plan to patrol around the Bristol Channel, hunting for traffic going in and out. At 1 o'clock in the afternoon, my hydrophone operator picked up a contact, bearing 140. The hunt is on once again. Hello everybody, Wolf back here, and welcome back aboard U2513 as we continue our second patrol. The boat is currently operating at a depth of 25 meters, and our hydrophone operator has picked up another warship contact, medium speed, closing bearing 142 degrees. I went ahead and marked its position here, and we are now turning south to investigate. It's really not very far away from where we uh, destroyed that hunt class destroyer. It's only around 20 kilometers away, and we are around 30 kilometers away from that position. So we're going to turn this boat around. Our torpedo loadout is two T5 homing torpedoes, and then the rest are T3 Fat 2 torpedoes. We have a pretty balanced loadout here, and it's currently 1307, so it's going to be nice and bright we make an attack so i do want to stay kind of far away uh if we do proceed to engage it and it looks like it's it's doing some wacky stuff looks like it's heading northeast now and merchants okay so maybe it is escorting a merchant ship or this it may actually be i think this is a convoy folks okay multiple warships and multiple uh merchant ships have been reported now by the hydrophone operator Okay, yeah, we have stumbled across a convoy. Well, we'll make our attack here. We're actually in a deep water pocket compared to the rest of the uh, water around us. It was around 100 meters uh, was our depth under keel opposed to, I don't know what it is out here, but this is actually uh, relatively a good place to make our attack. I am kind of worried though. It does seem like there's quite a few warships protecting this convoy, so things may get rather hairy. That's why I do want to engage from range. And with our fat torpedoes, we'll be able to lob them and then uh, and then kind of just turn around. If they miss, they'll search around the convoy and hopefully hit something else. I guess it depends on what's really in this convoy. If it's just a bunch of small freighters or whatnot, then it's probably not worth the risk. However, there's a big old tanker in there. I'll probably lob a few torpedoes their way. Okay, we'll get time compression going a little bit. I think they're, yeah, they, it does look like they're heading north, northeast, maybe like 025 degrees. We're just gonna, we're just gonna run parallel to their course. How far away are we from their track currently? Three kilometers. Okay, we do want to move in a little bit then. Three kilometers is kind of far. However, that is concerning right there. Rig for silent running. Maintain our four knot speed. I think this is just a routine search pattern. There's no way they heard us or anything like that. I mean, we're still at 25 meters. I haven't popped up our scope yet. I, but oh boy, this this thing's gonna roll right over the top of us. Okay, let's change course. Oh boy, we may not even get close enough for an attack here if we're picked up. Let's lay low, boys. Okay, there's the warship. It looks like it is moving away now. Oh, man. That was kind of close. A close call for sure. I'd really rather not get uh, hunted too seriously here. <laughs> quite frankly, in these shallow waters. I get the feeling it's quite dangerous here. Where'd that guy come from? Okay. All head flank. Drop a decoy. Worship now on bearing 043 degrees. 043. Up to port. Speed 10 knots. Zero now. Now on 031. Rudder midships. We've been found out. Warship now on 014. I'm probably open tube one. 
Fuck it, periscope depth. Zero tiefe. Zero tiefe. Okay, let's slow the boat down. Come on, hydrophone operator, give me... Give me a new bearing, please. Follow nearest warship. Zero, zero, 003, constant distance, constant speed, closing. Okay. Fire. Alright, homing torpedo is away. Firing at that target there. Up scope. Okay, down to four knots, please. Oh boy. Okay, the convoy is straight ahead. We're going right down the middle of them. I'm not too confident in this actually doing any good. Our torpedo has locked onto something. You know what? It looks like those freighters were going right in front of us. Up scope, let's take a look. Yeah, this is perfect. They're not gonna be able to pursue us if we're going underneath the freighters. I believe that was a torpedo impact. I don't think it hit what we wanted. It actually hit this freighter right here, which is not ideal, but at least we got a torpedo hit. Maybe it'll be enough to sink her or at least stop her. Since I know we're here, depth under keel, 97 meters. All right, new depth, 80 meters. Drop a decoy right here. Increase speed to eight knots. Well, this has not gone our way at all. I really hope that is the freighter up above us. It is. Look at that. That is, that is pretty darn cool, actually seeing this. <laughs> Let's adjust our course accordingly. I'm guessing this is the one we hit. I don't see a blast mark on its stern or anything like that. That's, that's pretty darn cool. There's our decoy right behind us. does look like maybe she is taking on water I don't know down scope okay we have another warship coming in that's pretty close there's more depth charges exploding astern of us but Ooh. oh gosh that hurt secure from silent running Battery power is at 40%. Secure from silent running. Oh my gosh. Thank you. There we go. Gotta get the water out ASAP. Our bow was cracked open here. So I'm gonna take one minute to get the water out of the bow quarters. Four minutes to get it out of the torpedo room. Let's get more men in here. help get that down okay two minutes now whatever that was is going overhead now okay let's change course 270 that really hurt one minute for each now okay the situation is under control There goes the depth charges. Okay, this is whatever just dropped its uh, depth charge pattern. Let's begin reducing speed once again. Seven meters. We are dropping, which is less than ideal. Seven seconds until this flooding is under control, then we'll transition to the bow torpedo room. 
We're at 90 meters. I'm afraid of hitting the freaking seabed now. Okay, let's get this water out. It'll be out in 10 seconds. Okay, under control. Secure, or rig for silent running. I don't care about the damage, really. We can repair that later. I'm worried about the flooding of all things. That's what scares me the most. We are not being actively pinged again. Maybe they think they killed us. That would be nice. Well, I'm still evading depth charges. It seems like the bulk of them have returned back to the convoy and the victory cargo went down here, 9,000 tonner. So all of our pain and suffering was not for absolutely nothing. At least we sunk one of them with our uh, homing torpedo. So that is quite awesome. <laughs> I'm glad uh, we we got something out of this uh, ordeal. Uh, the boat is still damaged. Um, of course, I'm not gonna make any more repairs until we are out of the area, unless we experience something really bad uh, but it does seem like most of them have broken off and, and you can hear depth charges still going off this one here I think is the one that's closest at 190 so we're still just making our way out of here you can probably reduce speed back down to four knots what wow what an experience that was uh you know this is this actually is making me rethink this whole strategy of going into the IRC um, single traffic is fine, all that sort of stuff. Well, when I, when I'm actually being hunted, this is not fun. This is terrible. Um, so, so I'm thinking of getting out of here. Uh, this, the risk is, you know, it was already very high, but I think this little ordeal was enough to convince me to, uh, head back to deeper water. It was fun while it lasted, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, going through the channel was quite interesting and you know I guess that made me very confident that we would be able to go into the Celtic Sea here and attack some convoys but these destroyers are brutal they are brutal Well, the last enemy destroyer seems to have left us and returned back to the convoy. We're still sitting at around 90 meters, and I have begun repairs. We've also turned on our western course to get the heck out of this area. Um, but yeah, we are working on repairing the bow quarters. It looks like the forward batteries need repairs, and that's going to take four hours. Holy cow, that's going to be a while. But we'll get those under control, get everything under control here. And uh, let's actually bring our boat up to 60 meters. That was quite the ordeal. That was quite the ordeal for sure. Um, but right now the goal is to completely break contact with this convoy and head for the deeper waters way out here. Okay, an update on the situation is currently 1536 and we have completely lost contact on the enemy convoy. We are still making repairs on the batteries, but right now everything's fine. Uh, battery power is just above 40% here. Now it looks like we're our oxygen's getting rather low. We'll pop up our snorkel uh, at at night. I don't want to raise it right now. That's a terrible idea. Let's see how long do the batteries have? Three hours now, so we still have a ways to go. Okay, the batteries are now intact at 1820. We received that message. We are coming up to periscope depth. We're going to raise our snorkel and get some fresh air in the boat. Uh, we've currently made quite a bit of progress away from the area. We've traveled around 30 kilometers. Getting closer and closer to deeper water. However, we have a warship moving fast, closing bearing 134. And it looks like it's heading... Oh, two of them. Lovely. Three. Okay. Part of me thinks these are maybe another torpedo boat patrol. We've encountered quite a few of those in these shallower waters. Currently at around 15 meters. Merchant medium speed. Oh, okay. Well, let's mark that down. That is interesting for sure. It's heading, looks like north, east, northeast, maybe. Yeah. Let's see. Let's go with 060 and turn our boat north. Just want to try to get ahead of this merchant vessel and get in a good torpedo firing position here. Slowly but surely catching up, I think. It's just... 
a slow process. And you can see at 12 knots how fast our batteries are draining here. We're slowly catching up on them. Let's increase speed more. Okay, our batteries, so we're only making uh, 11 knots now. At flank speed, our batteries are not enjoying this. Yeah, we're slowing down. God damn it. Okay, reduce speed. Let's take a look and see what this is. So yeah, we can't maintain 16 knots uh, for the entire duration of our battery's life. Unfortunately, we start slowing down as the batteries drain. So, uh, chasing stuff... This is just a prime example that chasing stuff down is hard in this boat. Uh, it is... It cannot do long distance hunts. Okay, we're at four knots. Up scope. I could surface like a madman. Three, two, one. Ooh, large merchant too. I wonder if it'll see our snorkel if we pop that up and start recharging. I'm sure it will, we're pretty darn close. We're getting close as well. Let's go ahead and 315 this target to see what her, her speed is. Three, closing in on 15 seconds. We'll mark the bow. She is moving pretty quick. Set. Nine knots. Okay, I say we break off a little bit, recharge our batteries, and then continue to try to chase her down. That's the plan, anyway. What's her course? Ship is heading 060. Okay, makes it easy. Okay, we've finally gotten into an okay position here to make our attack. Battery power is pretty poor, uh, and it's uh, around uh, 11 o'clock now. We also got a new contact of a warship right here. So this is how far we have been uh, chasing this guy, and we just now overtook them. Uh, we've we've chased them 140 kilometers. Oh my goodness, uh, this has been yeah extremely difficult to to pull off here, and we have been hunting them for a long time, as you can tell by the time here. Uh, but anyway, we are going to commence our attack now. We're just going to continue to try to move closer. Unfortunately, our top speed is currently 11 knots. Um, our batteries are not happy. They're down below 40%. Okay, reduce speed. Down to 4 knots, and we will begin our attack. Periscope depth, please. And let's turn towards our prey. Unfortunately, this warship in the area is going to cause some issues. We'll rudder amidships. Up scope. And we have already established it is a large cargo ship. A pretty good target. Yeah, or a large merchant ship, excuse me. And there she is, nice and close. Lock on target. Angle on bowels almost right at 90 degrees to starboard. We established speed was 9 knots. Range is going to be pretty darn close. We will be shooting a salvo today. 900 meters set. Okay, draft. We're going to shoot a salvo. Tubes 2 and 3. Draft is 8.9. We'll fire at around 10 meters for both torpedoes. Open both tubes. Okay, tube three. 14 degree gyro angle, okay, that'll be fine. We're gonna aim for that structure, fire. All right, tube three. We're gonna aim for these cranes, fire. Okay, both torpedoes are away. Down scope. Let's see, the runs look good. I am mean, worried about the Warship response here. And those both look like hits as long as the magnetic detonators work here. Impact should be soon. There we go. One hit. And two hit. And she is going down. Perfect. Down scope. 
turn tail and get the heck out of here. Or this enemy destroyer makes its way over here. It's pretty darn close, so it's definitely going to investigate the crime scene. Okay, that enemy destroyer is in the area. It certainly is sniffing around here. However, it hasn't started actively pinging us, so I think we may be able to get out of here uh, unscathed. We've dropped down to 40 meters and are just crawling away. As a matter of fact, let's rig for silent running. And I'll head at four knots. And let's see how many... Yeah, 9,653 tons for that large merchant. So not too bad at all. Anyway, we'll see. Hope I think we'll be able to get out of here without being detected uh, by this enemy warship. So, uh, time will tell, however. Well, that enemy warship is now heading on its merry way, and so are we. We were not pinged, attacked, or anything like that. So, we are going to begin reloading our torpedoes here and get re getting ready for our next attack. However, first and foremost, I do want to make it to this deeper water. This is getting a little sketchy. However, we still have sunk three enemy ships in the area, so that is not too bad at all. Anyway, we're going to reload our torpedoes and uh, keep on heading towards grid at BF-14. Of course, if anything of importance happens, I will let you know. Okay, we've received another contact here. Merchant moving fast, closing, bearing 317. And fast merchant ships are generally tankers. Let's change our course. Let's start moving south. And it does look like it is moving rather quickly. Okay, 170, please. It's pretty far away. Let's increase speed and chase this thing down. It looks like it's heading more or less on the same course. 070. Okay, let's set that in. Our batteries are rather low. I do need to raise the snorkel here. I was trying to put a bit more distance between us and that warship. Let's see, what do I have loaded? A T1 loot one. Okay, let's unload a T3 torpedo. Let's get the men back in there. We're going to unload that T3 torpedo and load another T1 in. Since it is still nighttime, we can fire fire those steam torpedoes without much of an issue. Okay, load it in, please. And we should be able to make it into position with no problem at all. So she's moving fast. I'm guessing she's going around 12, 12, 14 knots here. Get nice and close. It's currently just before like 10 before three. Oh, perfect. Okay, periscope depth. And we can start slowing down here. A reasonable speed for a torpedo attack. Up scope. Okay. Not going to be able to see much with all the periscope vibrations going on. She's at 040. Let's see what it is. Still the water all over it. There. Oh. All right. Five knots. 040. There we are. According to this, it is indeed a tanker. I can't make out what kind of tanker. Well, we can start flipping to the tanker screen. I guess whale factory ship. Oh, we'll go back. Large tanker. We'll start with that. I don't think it's a large tanker. I can kind of make it out through all this this fuzzy fuzziness here, all the blur. But oh, come on! This boat just takes ages to slow down. Regardless, I can start three fifteening. We have time to do that. Start. Okay, here we go. Medium tanker. 7,000 ton. Tanker, not too shabby. Let's get range. Angle on bow. Let's see. Get a weapon officer on station. These men are starting to get rather tired once again. 
So if she's heading 071. Currently her angle on bow is 60 degrees to port. Set. I'm guessing she's going like 15 knots. Range is probably closer to two kilometers. Passing one minute. Two. All right, we're going to have to cut this close, but. Ten seconds. And closing in on 15 seconds. There we go. Mark. All right. What is her speed? Speed is currently 12 knots. And she's going, she's moving on a heading of 073 degrees. Okay. Where are you? You fat. Okay. Beautiful. 12 knots. 12 knots set. We are going to fire tubes three and four. Is that a setting here? I don't think it actually is that specific. Okay. Anyway, 10.4 meters. Firing at 11. Tubes three. Open. Los. 11. I should have set speed to fast, but whatever. Blame for that mast. Fire. Oh, shoot. Forgot to open the tube. That's okay. There we go. Both eels are away. Heading towards the target. We'll see how we do here. And one of them prematurely detonated. Of course, why wouldn't it? Oh, that leaves uh, number two here. And it looks like that is going to indeed be a hit. Head over here. And thankfully, with these torpedoes, we can see the little bubble trail here, which makes it nice and easy to spot. Torpedoes heading towards the target. Hopefully, it goes off. And we can get ourselves a pretty fireball on the tanker here. Moment of truth. Got her. A pretty decent hit. The other one that prematurely detonated, of course, that was what they were just calling out there, but that is one torpedo impact right at this little uh, the structure here. We'll see if that's enough. I think two certainly would have been enough, but uh, one, I'm not 100% sure. It's going to take some time to really find out. No pretty explosions or anything like that have started on the on the ship she's just cruising on <laughs> we're not going to be able to catch her uh at this battery level so uh we're just gonna have to hope she either slows down dramatically where we can get into another attack position or she just ends up sinking i guess we'll see here Well, we are running parallel to the medium tanker here at a speed of eight knots, and we are starting to overtake her, so that's a pretty good sign. It shows she is flooding and is starting to slow down significantly. Uh, so we could get into a position to fire another torpedo at her. I'm hoping she'll uh, sink on her own due to flooding, but we will see, and we'll have to assess that situation. One thing, though, is we have a warship coming our way, uh, medium speed closing. Now that is fantastic. Uh, it's probably coming right our way. Yep, it sure is, which is great. Oh, there's two of them. That's lovely, isn't it? So how far away are they? They're around eight kilometers out. Let's reduce speed. Battery power is pretty low at this point.
we're just going to let them sniff around, drop to 60 meters. Rig for silent running. And we're going to let them do their thing while trying to maintain contact with the medium tanker here. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what, what happens here. Hopefully they don't pick us up. That would be bad. <laughs> We're continuing to track this merchant ship. I'm gonna to try to maneuver into a position before um, daytime. And I'm gonna shoot another torpedo at her just to finish her off so we can kind of get the heck out of here. Uh, Cause I do need to recharge our batteries. I need to pop up my snorkel. It's getting a little desperate at this point. So anyway, we're going to maneuver into position now and uh, I'll let you know when we have a good firing solution. Well, she is very, very low in the water as we can see here. We just got her speed. She's moving at a speed of five knots. Let's set that. Angle on bow is pretty much 90 degrees to port right now. We are going to fire probably tube five. We're gonna set it at a depth of six, seven meters. And we're gonna shoot a impact pistol. And hopefully that is enough there. We're gonna aim for this, um, yeah, we're gonna aim for this forward mast. One kilometer range. Let's just check uh, the map here. I want this to be a hit. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Tube five. Oh, shoot, I forgot to open the tube again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to yeah, remember to do that. Anyway, torpedoes away. Hopefully that is a hit and that'll be the final one. That should definitely sink her as long as it actually hits. Okay, let's go to the external view and take a look. Get rid of this. Torpedo's running, it's gonna hit her right in the bow. But it should definitely help this flooding along. Let's go right where I aimed actually, perfect. That has to finish her off. There's no way. Another star shell launched off. That's two torpedoes. And look, the waves are lapping over her deck. She is not gonna be able to survive this. Down scope. So we hit one in the center and then one in the bow. I'm thinking the other hit in the bow will help uh, her flood there even more, so we'll see. Well, this tanker is being extremely stubborn, like painfully stubborn, and we have swung around to its starboard side now, and of course, as you can see, it's bright and early in the morning, uh, so we're going to finish her off. I am hopefully the third torpedo is enough. Uh, what do we got here? T3 fat. That's what we will fire, I suppose. It looks like that other hit did not slow her down or anything. She is unaffected, really, which is very impressive. Uh, I, I figured that would be enough to finish her off, but of course it was not. The merchant that would not sink. Okay, we're just gonna get nice and close here. Angle on bow is just shy of 90 degrees to starboard, speed five knots, range 500 meters. We are firing tube two today. Draft is 10.4, fire at 11-ish, 11, 11 and a half. Maybe deeper, honestly. She is lower in the water, but. Okay. I I worry this thing is gonna be a dud. I'm gonna be very upset if, that, if it really is, but uh, you never know. Okay. Open tube two. I'm gonna fire at this mass this time, the K mass there. Los. Los. Four hundred meters away. Straight running. Oh, let's see if this finally does it. 
I wasn't going to let a crippled ship like this get away, especially a tanker. We're going to sink this freaking thing. See, she's much lower in the water. I probably could have set it deeper. But that's good, actually. Torpedo Got tougher. it. Right in the middle this time. Actually, just a bit aft. And if she doesn't go out, down after three torpedo hits, two magnetics, one impact. I don't know what to say. But this is one stubborn ship, that's for sure. Down scope. We were able to recharge our batteries and oxygen for a little bit. I have not recharged our batteries to full, but I've just recharged them enough to keep pace. She is not moving fast. Five knots is nothing, really. That's generally my standard operating speed in the Type 21 underwater, so it's, it's worked out. However, we've just been chasing this thing for a while, just constantly tracking it, thinking, you know, it'll go down this hour, but it doesn't. Very stubborn vessel. We'll see. Hopefully, uh, three is enough. Well, there we have it. At 1031, we got the notification. She is officially going down, finally. So if we check here, it actually was not a medium tanker. It was even larger, 12,000 tonner, a whale factory ship. So a much larger vessel. So that's probably contributed to why it took so many. I was like, I was hitting that medium tanker. I was like, man, this thing is just stubborn, but whale factory ship is significantly larger, almost double the tonnage. So I am not too upset with wasting th or spending three torpedoes on it. Regardless, we are getting out of here. It's time to go. I do not want to be in the Celtic Sea any longer. So we're going to return on our course and continue heading to grid BF14. Well, that will conclude today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it does really help out the channel. But until next time, this is Wolfpack345 signing off, and I will see you all on the next one.